Hi friends, it's Sleepy and we're back after an episode where I lost my mind. I was struck out of nowhere with emotions over William of all Sims. And today we're starting at the Vincent Turner farm because Edith is in her third trimester and I want to be nearby because we have three more birthdays to do in this household. And I don't know how I feel about it. The family was just like gathering over here and I thought it was cute. <laughs> uh, really? <laughs> Edith, you look really good for third trimester. Okay, so today's birthdays are Forrest, who's aging up to a child, Edward, who is aging to young adult, and Edith, who has her adult role to do. So I'm going to just go ahead and age up Forrest and Edward, do their makeovers uh, before I roll for everybody. Edith, I can't do today because... She's pregnant still. With any luck, she'll give birth today. So Forrest, you're up first. All right, so he was a fussy toddler and now he's an insider. These Sims love being in clubs and tend to be happiest when surrounded by their friends. Okay, how I see this for him is he's probably just an extrovert and really social so we'll definitely give him the social butterfly aspiration i guess he's just like a really nice guy compared to hawthorne hey. she know. <laughs> he's pretty cute okay but i'm not gonna mess with him until Mama. after edward oh hey, <laughs> let me get a photo can't let these moments pass me by. <laughs> Mary looks dressed down and casual. Edward, you next. And then we can pop into Cass for everybody. Oh, he's growing up. Whoa, what's all that? And what was that music? I didn't recognize it. So we have Perfectionist and then nothing? Hot-headed. Oh dear. Delightful. I don't agree with hot-headed. Let's get rid of that. Oh, it made me get rid of both. <laughs> he sure is cute. I'm gonna, when I get back in cast, I'm gonna put back delightful and he does need some, I think homewrecker. <laughs> Should we do homewrecker? These sims love to break up others' relationships they get flirty around their romantic interests who are in committed relationships with someone else. They become very happy and confident when they successfully break up another's marriage. I don't think Edward's this mean, but <laughs> it's kind of funny. When we get into cast, I'm going to um give him back delightful and let me know like if we should change the other trait for an aspiration. I don't really care. Let's do, um, what's this one? The Sim wants to find and live a rewarding life with the one. Let's do that. It's so messy. <laughs> All right, Ed. My goodness, the music was out of control. They do change a bit between teen and adults. I don't know what changed or not, but uh, I'm ready to fix these two up in cast. I'm not sure what changed about Edward, but let's give him like either scruff or I need to give him more dirt. <laughs> I don't know how I will feel about the options I have. We might do nothing if I don't like anything. I haven't had anyone that this stuff looks good on yet. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I'm not like mad at it. No, he's a baby face. I'm just going to, uh, it, this is close to something, but I don't know. Oh, where's just regular? Okay, there it is. For now, let's just give him more dirt. Oh, I gave him dimples in this category. I know I have that someplace else. Oh, that's why he's not roughed up. 
I think I have dirt in the tattoo section and I can't take you there with me. Do I have any new hair he might want to do? Oh God. Oh dear, no. I think I want him to have a shaved head at some point. All right. I looked through everything and there's not another hairstyle I like for Edward right now. There's a hairstyle I'll like when he is an adult, but not right now. And for clothes, uh, I think we're going to get out of the purple. Maybe just change his colors a bit. I don't like the purple anymore. I like the green now that he's back home. Let's put Delightful back. There's Edward looking pretty much the same. Now Forrest. All right, he has a little bit of curl to his hair. Let's bring him down. So he's five. Oh, that means um, Hawthorne is taller now. There we go. All right. And oh, Briar has to stay taller than Hawthorne. There we go. Okay, that's sorted. Let's get out of this distracting outfit first. Easy outfit for Forrest. I'm not sure about that hair. Clearly the genetics wants him to have some curl. That's William's haircut. So he has more curl than Hawthorne does. Oh, that's really sweet looking. That's cute too. Oh, I like that. That's adorable. Screaming. That's also cute. Lots of cute options. Decisions, decisions. Hmm, it's between this one or this one. I also liked this. Uh, let's do, let's do this one. And his eyes are not the right color. I feel like they should be greener. Let's do that. There we go, forest. Got my portrait. All right, let's do these rolls. We will start with the youngest. To stay a child, forest cannot roll a nine or 19. And Forrest makes it. To age up and stay a young adult, Edward cannot roll a 6, 11, or 14. Ooh, okay, Edward makes it. Now Edith. Edith with her beautiful family. I cannot. Now Edith has to do the dreaded adult roll. That has already hurt my feelings for second gen. So Edith needs to avoid 13, 15, and 19. All right. So Edith has survived her adult role. She will automatically live until the age of 45. And now we are going to roll to see how many more years past 45 into elder years she will live. Oof, not what I want to see. Edith will be with us until the age 51, which is not long, but it's longer than William. But, you know, no casualties today. I'm very glad. <laughs> and while I was, like, having complete fits, oh, God, <laughs> in my last episode, I completely forgot that when William, you know, meets his demise at age 34, because that's not his elder role years left, I can plead for him at that time. So not all hope is lost. Fate is not set in stone. You know, we can chill. We can relax a little bit. And that goes for Sammy as well. I forgot that I can plead for a toddler. Sometimes... I can't keep track of it all while I'm in it. And I was feeling feelings that day. Um, later in the episode, we will go attempt to plead for our Sammy. <laughs> uh, so right now it's just early morning. And I don't really need to do anything else at this household. Except wait on Edith. But, you know, I could go other places and wait on Edith. I don't know. Oh, what's well, going on here? Seen. Difficult feelings. People peeling away. Should I be more lenient? Okay. Flirty disaster. Edith tried 
being flirty and just wasn't her style. Did you just try to flirt with Edward again? Or was that with William? Because she was flirting with William earlier. Oh, no, because Edward. Oh, no, you all. <laughs> oh, my gosh. In love with someone's partner for being homewrecker. He seems enjoy flirting with another partner. Oh, it's in effect. Effect. It's in effect. Edith, honey, you. Edith, you should do anything else. Anything else. Why don't you come? Why don't you use the bathroom? I cannot have marital problems. Get in that bathroom. Yeah, turn it off, Ed. Okay, this is twinkling. So I think it's going to happen anytime now. Sorry, Edith. Let me give you more privacy than that. Oh, it's working. Did I get my medieval? Yes. Look at that. Sorry, these are new to me. The little overrides. I don't know what color I want. I'm kind of a purple person. Why are we chilling in this clump? Okay, well, chores, folks. What can we get done here? I feel like we have chickens and stuff. Oh, we don't own chickens here. Well, we have an egg that needs to hatch. What do we got for chickens here? Wow, they're expensive. Adult, adult, young adult, young adult, great. Are these all roosters? Okay, two roosters. Three roosters. I have three roosters. I'm going to sell elder ones. Wow. Okay, I have three to sell right now. I'm going to sell those. This is I have zero roosters. I don't understand. No, stop it. I don't trust them over there. Edith, go do something. No, stop it. Oh, Ed is dangerous like this. Edith, go anywhere else, anywhere. You know what? Edith's resisting this. I know she's already pregnant, so she like can't get into more trouble. I mean, like permanent trouble. <laughs> but still. Okay, she's hungry. Why don't you cook? Why can we never cook anything in this house? It's because I don't take care of things. <laughs> Make vegetable stew. Knock it off. What is going on? Mary, discipline Briar. Edith, you weren't done, were you? She didn't do what I said to do. Oh. Why sit down here? Oh, you're such a goober. William, apparently you have a cow that's going. Oh, let's see who we're selling. Elder. Adult. This one's getting ready to go. If we trade, we have to... We can't keep all that money. Ingredients and produce. Not for me. Ooh, I'm curious. Uh, let's see what this does. Do I want to trade this animal for ingredients? Sure. I don't know what the ingredients will be. Road of fame. What? Why? Anyway, what are my ingredients? What did I get? I don't see anything. New sentiment with Briar. Oh! <laughs> Wait, Briar's mad at her dad. That's so funny. Where are these ingredients? I guess I don't know how that works. Marjorie vi is visiting. Oh, are you excited to see me in particular? What do you want, Marjorie? Everyone's so hungry. Why is Edith upset now? Her and William's love bar is going down. Uh, so she was hurt by William. Probably because he yelled at her. You know what? I need to fix them. He needs to like, and she needs to just really tune into each other when this baby comes you know lean on each other for support leave it to briar to ruin just about everything with that weird body glitch you're so cute oh edith she was rubbing her tummy i'm obsessed why are you dropping the plates right there william you look bummed out Let's see some cute interactions. I'm gonna see baby stuff. Anyone else? <laughs> Just me. Let's offer a massage for her sore back. And then we'll eat the lovely food she made us. Oh, very sweet. A very fast massage. Very fast indeed. Mary, clean up. You complain and clean up. <laughs> Ugh, the kids are always hiding stuff up there. Oh, they got to replant for next year. Oh, goodness. 
or next season, I should say. Well, that's on our to-do list. I don't feel like doing it now. Well, all's quiet here. I'm gonna take Edward out. He needs to get the heck out of here. Yeah, let's do that. Edward, let's go out. We aren't going far today. We'll go to the local watering hole where it is silliness. Ugh, we'll probably see way too many people we know are in here. It's still a bar, right? It is. Celia the nanny's here. I thought I had a mod to get rid of all my festival notifications. Where's the bartender? I like the bartender. They're spawning slowly and they are randomized. Let me pass some time. Hmm. Been here three seconds and someone's wooing. <laughs> of course, Joseph is here at the watering hole. You wouldn't miss a chance. Woohoo everywhere. Hey, no shirt, no shoes, no service. I was like, is he our bartender? Where is our bartender? She's not here. Anyway, Ed, we're limited on appropriate wardrobe. Are you talking to the nanny you used to know? You are. Well, I guess you already know each other. What does he think of her? They're really good friends. Basic looking. Okay. Feel safe. I guess talk to this Tana person. Dang, it's hard looking at these weirdos. Is he the bartender? Pretend Kame's not here. This is the only person his age. Why is... <laughs> Why are they particularly, like, not some of the sims I have that are, like, dressed for now? How's he gonna get a beverage around here? Well, this is a fun. It's all dudes. Ed, you made a drink and now drink it. What the heck? Bro just stole our drink. Literally only dudes. Jeez. Edward hasn't like shown interest in like a lot older people. I just want him to get, you know, just get blow some steam. Oh, he could visit that. The brothel. I feel like that's not a place he would go by himself or anything. Not without influence. Oh no. This is quite... <laughs> this is not real. Don't pay attention to it. <laughs> Whatever. She's the only girl. Keep talking to her, Ed. Oh, she's not taken. Maybe it doesn't work for him. Ed. Oh, okay. He's breaking it down. Why do all my sims have excellent dancing skills? Oh, it's because of those castle banquets. That's how he knows how to dance. Oh, and leaving. Oh, crap. This is a bust. Zero ladies. Except like Hazel. I thought she was leaving. Ed, what are you doing exactly? Oh, a girl. No came's talking to her, but ignore that. Uh, let's see. We can't do a flirty introduction? Why not? Oh, what is going on? I want to talk to her. No one ever showed up to 10 bar. That's very strange. Sam, can you get out of the way? Oh, is she into it? She's unflirty? She sort of not. It looks fine to me. Oh, they're hitting it off. Oh, she's very flirty. Okay. Let's talk about her appearance. We have something we need to do. We need to get something out of the system. I think so, clearly. Why are you scared of Emmanuel for? Yeah, get over here, Casanova. Oh, he got activated. Is she someone's partner? Who? Whose partner is she? The guy looks grumpy. Wait, 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 wait. She doesn't have a partner. She doesn't. Basic looking. Dang it. We got more work to do. What is, what is that like? Let, let's just do everybody. You know what? Maybe he don't care. This all has to just get done. Who likes what? Very attractive. That's good. And then Zendaya. Unattractive. Okay, we won't mess with Zendaya. Let's keep working on this one. Then. Work in the room. Sam, you're in the way. This is my mission today. Trying to get Ed some time. Some time with a lady. Hey. 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 Come back. She left. Why are you going upstairs? What's upstairs? Why is Magdalene here? Awkward. And we're going where she is. Wait, did Magdalene? That was obnoxious. Did Magdalene come with Kane? That'd be so funny. Oh, sister, could you not witness this? Please don't witness this. 
I'm trying to get my work going. Dag, dag. Yeah, hi, sis. <laughs> Don't mind me. No, 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 no. Get her to come back. Oh, don't worry about your eczema. Run, boy, run. Run. Working so hard. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Fatamoy. Oh, that's good, right? Can we reset a poem? What would happen? She's into it. Okay. You know who she kind of looks like? She kind of looks like, uh, like Elise. Hold on, Ed. Okay, I think that's enough. I'm gonna have them, like, it's just, it's not serious. It's just a hookup, you folks, okay? Calm yourself. I cannot. I don't know what, Miles. Miles. Why are you here, Miles? Don't you dare take my fish. Sorry to call her fish. Something's wrong with me. <laughs> Just cheering them on. Aliens? Who? Is she an alien? I swear. I can't handle this freaky stuff. He's sobering up. Uh-oh. He's sobering up. She's an alien? <gasps> She's an alien. I didn't see that before. Oh, oh, why don't we? You got to tell her bye. Goodbye. We're leaving. Where's goodbye? You know, it, it's it been lovely hanging out with you. <laughs> I got to go home. Uh, my mom's going to wonder where I am, even though I'm a grown adult. <sighs> Poor Magdalene. Let's hit the road. And we're back. Somehow I have Sam with me. Sam, go home. I didn't ask you to come here. Congratulate him on marriage. That's so old. <laughs> Whatever. And then send him home. Which way is that fox going? Oh. Yeah, you should be afraid of Sam, the gamekeeper. Ugh, they're so annoying. Can you send him home? Goodbye. Nope. Hawthorne and Mary have a difficult dynamic. Yeah, they do. Why is Mary I'll angry? Oh, from dealing with uh, Hawthorne. Edith is nowhere near sleep disorder time. She's not near giving birth. I don't understand. <laughs> it's good of you, Mary. Yeah, after you kick it over, you put it all back. Uh, Edith, what are you, what are you doing? Ed, why are you running all the way over there to do that with her, huh? They're lucky it's beautiful out. I forgive them. Forest out there making a mess. Edith, you should probably parent. Oh, he's cleaning up his own mess. Whatever. Oh, Ed. What to do with you? It's time to put everyone to bed. Oh! Finally, Edith's in labor. Oh my god, I was waiting so long. Wake up, babe. Oh my goodness. Let's start her home birth. Oh, you know what? We don't have a bassinet. <laughs> One second, huh? Edith, you just gonna go to sleep? There we go. William, time to panic. Very good. Are we doing a midwife? I feel like Mary and William are the midwives. Oh. She went back to sleep. Don't worry about it, I guess. Why are you crying, Mary? She's just been crying. Why is she hurt? Oh, from Hawthorne. That's how it is sometimes. So Edith is sleeping off the early stages of labor because she's a pro now. So she can do that. Pretend everyone's sleeping, even though they're not. She had such an easy, smooth pregnancy this time. There's no real need for concern about labor and delivery. Or at least they don't foresee anything beyond the normal happening. It's the next day. Ooh, she is feeling it right now. 
got this, Edith. I have it on two times speed. No one really mourns the folks in their graves. Okay, William. Oh my god. Edward, you working on that? Jeez. Mary, how about you? I feel like Mary would be on kid duty. And she would collect these eggs. Any hatchables? Yes, because we need more chickens here. I'm gonna push the magic button for her. Or Edith, I feel like I just found out about you. Oh, yeah. Oh, should we do it in the other room? No, Edward's over there. We'll do it here. I feel like William... William's supportive. Like, he would be over here. William, come stand in the doorway and be useless like you do. Great. It is time to do this. It's one in the afternoon. I want to do this before we go to the castle and just plead for Sammy. And then I'm done for today for this week. Let's do this. It's new. What's new with William? So supportive. You got the seed it. Oh, poor babe. You got this. Oh. It's a boy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Another boy. We're making sure I have a lot of chances. <laughs> Let's see another botanical boy name. So I'm going to go with Rowan. It means tree with red berries, Old English, supposedly. I'm assuming we'll have another Auburn or redheaded kid. So I don't know why we haven't done Rowan yet. Rowan Turner. Yay! <laughs> Edith, you've had many babies. Don't even. Ugh, let's do these rolls. Why you gotta twist your hand like that? <laughs> Please don't give me a sour note. Okay. As you all know, Edith cannot roll a 1 or a 10. Whew, okay. And baby Rowan cannot roll. A 1, 5, 10, 15, or 20. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. And we will save the infant roll for another time. I'm going to take my win. I'm going to take my win. All right. Let me let everybody. Does she have to feed it already? Excuse me. Feed it. Unseen discomfort. Still upset. Okay. Hot peak gundies, okay. William stepped right out. Give her some privacy. Um, I know Mary's talking about a trash can, but congratulations, son, on another son. And apparently, William, maybe you can't help with the baby, because that's not what I wanted. Time for you to snuggle. Go to sleep, Edith, you deserve it. William gets another baby. Awesome. Happy for this little family. <sighs> I'm glad that worked out. <laughs> Let's go plead for Sammy and hope it goes well. All right. Oh my God. The Marjorie clones back. I will permanently deal with that sometime. I've destroyed her twice. So where's toddler Sammy? I didn't give him a bet. There he is. All right. Go get him, Marjorie. I want her nearby. I really dislike having to end the children. It's not fun. So I have to, and I believe it's starvation. I should be able to plead for him, though it's really sad to do starvation. There it is. Oh gosh. Girding my loins. There we go. Oof. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. We don't like that. We don't like it. Oh gosh. 
Hazel, now is not the time. Okay, all right, so we can talk to him. Demand, she's confident. Get over here and demand. Demand. <sighs> Come on, oh, please, 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 please. Please spare my baby, please. Please, oh, Grim, please, please. You have to. No. 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 Oh, I tried. No, not that baby. Dang it, guys. Sam and Marjorie, are they just not meant to have a surviving child? I just don't understand. I don't. I'm so mad about it. So mad about it. Hate you very much. Grim. Well, friends, that didn't go how I wanted it to go. Jerk. Oh, well, <laughs> I'm gonna close out with this cute bunny. I tried to plead for Sammy, and I really dislike how last week's fate remains true for him in this case. And I really, I don't know what Sam and Marjorie want to do. I kind of feel like pregnancies end up being a natural consequence of just a long-term marriage. It won't necessarily be totally preventable, so I'm not going to say never. Other than that, I'm glad everything's okay at the heir's house right now. And next week, we will get into more suitors for Joseph's girls. And the one big change that's happened at the castle here that I just don't have time to focus on tonight. I want to thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Take care.